The day is now cloudy, even though you couldn't see a thing, and we were having a very nasty snowstorm earlier. And with every snowstorm comes water that's melted off of my roof over my workshop. It is everywhere. And I have no way to keep it from coming down, and I have no way to manage the water. So I'm going to show you my sort of redneck way, and that is this baby. It is my homemade drum vac, using very simple materials. I got a pool hose, which acts as my suction hose. A 50-gallon, 50 55-gallon 50 paint drum metal. It's got the two, I think it's either two or two and a half inch opening, and a one inch opening for a smaller pouring. This is a, this was a paint container, so you could either choose a large paint or small paint. Small paint, I have made this thing. It was a long nozzle adapter. I don't see the other piece around here. Maybe it's maybe it's right over here. Ah, oh, here it is. Cut this end off right here. My bandsaw now works also. And um, that piece was the perfect size to go down to my shop vac. Now you want to have a very strong shop vac. Mine's a two horsepower shop vac because you need a lot of water lift. Especially for a hose this large going up this high. Well, it's not going up too high, about three feet, but still, it's quite a ways to go. And as you, we also got some holes up there in the roof. Dripping down on all my stuff. My compressor and all my good stuff. It doesn't leak on any of the bad stuff for some reason. Only the good stuff. So, uh, I got this yeah, over here, these towels kind of channeling the water into the middle so I'll turn it on and show you what happens I just turned it off, so um, that's the way I'm going to try to be using it, and this large bucket right here was full, almost up to the very top, and I sucked every single drop of the water out of this thing in about 30 seconds. Now, I say that that is a good achievement for the day. Get all the little water droplets off the screen of my phone, which I'm using to record. If you uh, have any questions or concerns on how to make this, also for another tip, when you're using the pool vacuum hose, yep, I had this tape wrapped around it to give it a tighter seal. I originally had this set up with the with a different shop vac, that green one, way over there. I originally had it set up with that one, where this just plugs straight into it to do a pool. And um, that's got a drain plug at the bottom, that's why I was able to use it. I just uh, opened up the drain pipe and put a hose over that one, so uh, that that would just drain down into the hose out somewhere in the yard. This one is a larger model, as you can most likely see. Uh, when I'm done sucking all the water up, I'll just uh, take this piece off right over here, put a hose all the way down to the bottom, and just siphon it out to the alley over there. Or I can just uh, have fun by kicking it over and watching all the water that I sucked up go out. And um, check out some of my other videos I'll have soon on this Ryobi Weed Eater. I'll be fixing that. And, um, thank you for watching this video. That's how to make your own industrial vacuum for a fairly low cost.